Hey guys, you know what time it is. For me, of course, it is time for my Diet Coke break. Today, I'm drinking out of this cute pink Alabama State Parks cup. I got this from the fair last week. The fair was here, and you know that tent you walk in, and they have like all the ink pens and keychains and cups and things that you don't need. You know, you walk through those booths, and they give you a bag when you walk in, so you feel like you have to fill it up before you walk out. <laughs> and so you have a bunch of stuff that usually you never even use, and it just makes its way to the trash can at your house. But these cups are actually nice, sturdy little plastic cups, and it's pink, so, you know, that was actually a good thing that came out of that. Anyway, um, today I want to do a tag video. I've never done one before, and I just think it'd be really fun. I'm doing a tag that Mary from A Love Tart did, I think, Thursday or Friday of last week, and I'll link hers below so you can check that out. But the tag that she did is called My First Time Tag, and so I'm going to do this, and um, I'm going to get through this as quickly as possible. So let's just get started with the tag. Again, it's called My First Time not that first time, <laughs> but <laughs> my first time on a lot of other stuff. So anyway, um, let's just get started and uh, let's see what we come up with. Okay, so let's just go and get started. I'm going to get through these as quickly as possible so that this video is not just forever in a day. So number one is, do you still talk to your first love? And um, I, have, I have talked to him not super recently, but um, he is friends with a friend of mine on Facebook. We're not friends on Facebook, but he's friends with a friend of mine. And kind of through that, um, you know, we've kind of said, hey, and, you know, how are you? And, you know, he's, um, I think, I guess we'll always be kind of friends. Um, we didn't, it never, you know, didn't end on bad terms or anything like that. Um, but uh, anyway, I don't really keep in touch with him. But every now and then we'll run across each other and it's like, you know, hey, how you doing? Great. Number two, what was your first job? My first job was going with my mom to clean houses when I was growing up. Um, she um, didn't have to work full time, um, which was good. My dad had a good job so that she didn't have to do that. But she was not one of these people that would just sit around and, you know, not work or not do something. She was a very industrious person. And so she just got three or four houses to clean around um, the city where we lived. And um, most of them were older people who were out, you know, playing golf or at the country club all day or something like that. And they just wanted somebody to come in and, you know, dust, vacuum, clean the bathrooms and clean the kitchen, basically. You know, just you know, real, real quick, in and out kind of thing, and their houses were never dirty in the first place. But anyway, I gave my mom something to do um, a few days a week that, you know, made her feel like she was still doing something, and I would go with her, and I would help her, and she would give me a couple dollars, you know, for emptying the garbage cans or something like that. My first job where I got an actual paycheck from an actual company was um, I worked at the grocery store called Piggly Wiggly. I don't know if any of you know what Piggly Wiggly is, but... Anyway, um, and I actually uh, worked there twice. I worked there once, I think, my junior year of high school, and then after I quit, um, I actually came back to that job, believe it or not, and worked there a second time. But um, anyway, it was uh, I met a lot of people that were really nice. Met a lot of people that I kind of like to forget in that job too. But um, anyway, it was fun while it lasted. So that was my first actual paying job. Okay, um, number three, what was your first car? My first car was the family car that we had when I turned 16. It was a four-door, um, 1989, or 1987, I think it was, um, Blue Cavalier, um, and that was my first car. So I got the family car, and my mom and dad bought a new car. Who was the first person who texted you today? Um, the first text I got today was actually from my salon. It reminded me of my hair appointment on Thursday when I'm going to go get some of this chopped and, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, that was my first text today. Reminded me of my appointment on Thursday. Um, number five, who is the first person you thought of this morning? Um, probably my daughter because she had to get up, you know, um, had to get her up and get ready for school and everything, so, uh, anyway, I thought of her, alarm went off, and I have to, you know, keep the alarm going so that I can, uh, get her up and out of bed, so she's usually always the first person that comes to mind. Number six, who was your first grade teacher? My first grade teacher, when I started the year, her name was Mrs. Dyer, and then she had a baby, and then it seems like we just had a series of, like, long-term subs after that, um, and I don't remember any of their names, so I didn't have an actual first grade teacher for the entire year. 
I mean, not the same teacher for the entire year. Let's put it that way. Uh, number seven, where do or where did you go on your first airplane ride? When I was six months old, I flew from California to Alabama, or from Alabama to California. I'm not sure how it went. I don't remember that though. The first plane ride that I actually remember um, was not until after I got married, and my husband and I flew to South Beach. Um, in Miami for a weekend um, through his company. Uh, we went on a, a company sponsored trip and it was really, really nice and I was really, really scared. But uh, that's the first place that I actually remember flying to. Um, who was your first best friend and do you still talk to him or her? My first best friend, um, when I was in elementary school, uh, her name is Deborah, and yes, I still talk to her. Um, she actually, we kept in touch, you know, all through, we went to school, all the way through school together. We were good friends most of those years. Some years, we weren't as close as others, which I regret. Um, and, but now, she actually lives not too far from me, and um, the sad thing is, I never see her. I talk to her on Facebook, and we'll text every now and then, but she's one of those people that I feel like I could pick up the phone and call her if I needed to, or just show up at her door, or vice versa, you know, her with me, and it would be like we just saw each other. So, um, anyway, I love her. She's sweet, and we have always been, always been best friends, so that's, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, Okay, number nine, where was your first sleepover? I don't honestly remember. I didn't sleep over at a lot of places. I'm an only child, so it was always just me, my mom, and dad. I slept at home every single night, um, and it wasn't a big deal to me. I don't know. I never really went to sleepovers very much. Um, and I think the one time I do remember going on a sleepover, I, it seems like I was crying and wanted my mom to come get me, and it was just some kind of traumatic, I don't know what happened. But anyway, um... So, I don't actually remember my first sleepover, which is kind of weird. So I'm going to have to think about that. Um, number 10, who was the first person you talked to today? That would be my daughter when I was telling her for, you know, repeatedly to get out of bed and start getting ready. 11, whose wedding were you in for the first time? Believe it or not, I have never been a bridesmaid. I have wanted to be a bridesmaid my entire life, and I've never been a bridesmaid. Um... My friends got married, and for, you know, one reason or another, either I wasn't there, or they weren't here, or we had lost contact for some reason during that time, and, um, I don't know, I was never a bridesmaid, and I always wanted to be, so, um, you know, I guess mine's a little bit different, you know, I was a bride, never a bridesmaid, so my saying's a little bit opposite from the normal saying, you know, of, uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> okay, um, number 12, what was the first thing you did this morning? The first thing I did this morning was to push snooze on my alarm and roll back over and go back to sleep for five minutes. Number 13, what was the first concert you ever went to? I don't remember. I think the first concert I went to was probably something country. Um, I remember going to a concert um, to see... I honestly can't even remember. I saw Garth Brooks in concert at the Peanut Festival in... Dothan, Alabama, which is where I grew up. Um, the Peanut Festival is just essentially the fair that comes every year, but you know, being the peanut capital of the world, it's always been called the Peanut Festival, and Garth Brooks came and did the Peanut Festival right when Friends in Low Places had just come out and everybody was crazy about it. So it was at the very, very start of his career, and I got to see him in concert there that night. He did a free concert, and that's the only song I knew of his, and, um, you know, after that, he just kind of skyrocketed into fame, but um, that was a fun concert. Okay, um, first broken bone. I have never had a broken bone. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. <laughs> Uh, first piercing, that would be, um, the first holes in my ears. I have two now, but that would be the first holes in my ears. My mom took me when I was about three months old and got my ears pierced. Um, 16, first foreign country. I've never been to a foreign country. Well, I've been to Canada. I don't consider Canada a foreign country. Okay, moving right along. 17, first movie you remember seeing in the theaters. The first movie I can actually recall seeing in the theater was the movie called Man from Snowy River. And I don't know if any of you guys have seen that movie or if you know what I'm talking about, but I, that is still to this day one of my absolute favorite movies. I think I was probably about 10 or 12, maybe it seems like. I don't know. 
But that was just, I just thought that that was the best movie. It's just, it's great. If you don't guys, if you guys don't know what that movie is, um, you could maybe look it up. But um, that's the first movie I remember going to see. And after that, it was probably still Magnolias with my mom uh, and my grandmother, I think. Okay, number 18. When was your first detention? My first and only detention ever, ever, ever happened my senior year. And um, my... One of my best friends, my senior year, had gotten permission from her mom to go eat at Subway for lunch, like to leave campus and go eat lunch and then come back. So she had a note. There was another girl who also had a note that was going, and they convinced me to just go ahead and just walk off campus and get in the car with them, go to Subway, eat lunch, come back to school, nobody would ever miss us. Of course, I got caught. I don't remember how it all played out, but I got caught. Of course, the very first time I ever, ever, ever tried to do something like that, my senior year of high school, I got caught, had in-school detention for three days. Worst time of my life. That's not true. I've had worse, but at the time, that was the worst time of my life. All right, 19. Who was your first roommate? Um, I moved out of the house when I was probably... I think I was 17, 18 when I moved, when I moved away from home. And, um, I had two girls that I lived with that were my roommates. Um, and I still talk to both of them every now and then, but, um, we didn't live together for that long. We shared a house and, um, I moved out, uh, before either one of them did. So I moved out and they still stayed together, but, uh, they're my first roommates. Um, what was the first lesson you ever took? Um, that'd be swimming lessons. My mom put me in swimming lessons at our local, um, we had an indoor swimming pool and like water complex and everything in the city where I grew or near where I grew up. And so my mom put me in swimming lessons from the time that I was probably five, I think. Um, and I took lessons every summer all the way up to lifeguard. And I did not get that because I cannot dive. I still can't dive. I can't dive without holding my nose. I don't know how people do it. I have tried. Water gets in my nose no matter what. And I get, you know, that burning sensation of having chlorine in the back of your throat and all that good stuff. So, I never got my certification as going all the way through. But, anyway, swimming lessons. That was my first lesson. Um, number 21. Who was the first beauty-related person you watched on YouTube? I'm pretty sure it was Tiffany. Uh, makeup by Tiffany D and I don't even know I think I just searched one day I was searching for something about um, a foundation I was looking at or, or something like that and you know she was like the first channel that popped up so I watched it and then I thought it was really cool because she was from Atlanta which is in the south and she's you know an Alabama football fan which is really cool and I was too so I don't know I just thought it was neat that she was from the south near you know Atlanta where you know I go pretty often to visit or you know to go shopping and things like that. That's it for my first tag. <laughs> That's kind of cool my first tag and my firsts and you know, I don't know. My head's in one of those crazy places today. But anyway, if you enjoyed hearing about some of my firsts, and I would really like to hear about some of your firsts, so if you want to do this video, go ahead and do it, and just let me know in the comments below that you've done it. I will go and check it out. I think it's really cool to see everybody's opinions, and just the diversity on YouTube is just amazing to me. It's really neat to learn new things about people. So go ahead and do that, and let me know. As always, thank you for commenting, and hopefully for liking this video. Thank you for being a subscriber. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. I will get to every single one of them, I promise. And I hope you guys have a really great Tuesday evening. Join me tomorrow for my Gold Star Worthy Wednesday product reveal and um, figure out what I think deserves five gold stars. So y'all have a great night. I'll talk to you tomorrow, guys. Bye.